back to another day of vlogmas today for me is saturday so it's gonna be a weekend vlog it is officially the weekend before christmas because christmas eve falls next weekend so technically i guess we do have one more whole weekend before christmas day but today is the 16th i believe <laughs> i don't even know what day it is i think it's uh december 16th it is flying by everybody keeps telling me they feel the same way are y'all are y'all by the time you see this you'll see this before christmas but it's going to be even further along. I just feel like it was just Halloween and now we're going to be looking at New Year's in like two weeks. So today I went and did my big food shop and I sat down and I spent all this time making out. I have like five different like get togethers I need to bring food for or cook for. So I thought I would share with you. It took me a while to come up with menu ideas and all the things and then write the lists and go shopping and I have it all here and I'm gonna put it all away so that the only thing I need to go back for is probably like milk and some fruits and veggies like the fresher things maybe like next weekend I'll have to pick up some of that but other than that I think I should be good through Christmas all my baking and all that I have all the supplies so I'm gonna give you my menu item my menus for the next couple parties and things that we're gonna have in case you're like needing some ideas maybe you're trying to plan your christmas meal you know because it took me a little while but we always kind of do the same general things and so it was kind of easy to and i keep my lists from previous years in my handy little what do i call it my household manual i have a tab for christmas i have shared this before but i have a christmas tab so i can look back and see what did i make last year and the year before and the year before and like what did i do for my baking day and I can, you know, pull ideas from that, but I thought I'd give you my menu, um, menus for the next couple parties and things that we have, maybe give you some ideas if you need them. So for the next two weeks, the meal plan, I also had to plan regular meals, but there are a lot of times when we won't be having regular dinners because of things going on. So I'm going to do that. I've been carrying over that Cheddar Bay biscuit chicken casserole recipe. So I'm going to do that. We're going to probably eat out a few times. I'll do spaghetti pepper jack chicken in the crock pot, barbecue chicken in the crock pot, pot roast casserole, and then I'm gonna do pintos and cornbread again because it was so good, and when I make that, Marion and Jackson will not eat them, so I bought a pork roast for them. We'll have leftovers, and then of course we'll have a lot of Christmas gatherings, so I thought that I would show you, tell you what my Christmas menus will be. So we do a baking day every year, and I'll do like a, like a light kind of lunch dinner slash whenever whenever people get here but we'll have chicken salad on Hawaiian rolls and then we'll have also like chicken sliced chicken on Hawaiian rolls we'll do chips and dip and fruit and then we'll be baking so we'll have lots of desserts and I'm gonna make a Christmas punch I got enough to make two batches so we'll make one then and then I'll make another one on Christmas Eve we're going to a party tomorrow and I'm bringing a hash brown casserole and some green beans for Christmas Eve dinner Michael actually got a huge ham from his work for like a bonus and so they're gonna bring the big ham so I don't have to worry about the meats I'm gonna do another big hash brown casserole green beans cream corn in the crock pot stuffing we'll have some rolls and I'm gonna do some of the Texas Roadhouse cinnamon honey butter Hopefully it will be good. I'm going to make some Christmas punch and we'll have lots of baking treats that we made. And then for Christmas morning, we'll do, um, I, I like to do those little egg cups with sausage and bell pepper and cheese in the little um, cupcake liners. They're so good. And then we'll have some bacon and we're going to have a pancake bar with little toppings and Cool Whip and mini chocolate chips. All those things that'll be really fun and we'll have sparkling cider we like to reserve that for christmas morning <laughs> and then in the evening we'll get together with my family and um it's always a huge spread we have like 17 people and so i'm gonna bring a big crock pot of meatballs i'm gonna make a big hash brown casserole that seems to be the theme um and probably like some vegetables and maybe some bread i don't know i have to talk to my sisters so that's the only thing i'm not exactly sure of but she brings a lot and then i'll bring a lot and we'll just put it all together and it'll be It'll be really fun. So I'm going to show you all the things we picked up at Walmart and Sam's. I also, we also stopped into Hobby Lobby for a minute at the end. So I've got some non-food items in there. So this is my Sam's haul over here first. We got the Marion, I didn't even know I put these in the basket, but the <laughs> big Texas cinnamon rolls, his favorite. And then Jackson loves Ritz crackers, kind of asked me to get some more. So I got a big box of those and we got the three triple pack of bubbly for Marion. Also, you know, it's kind of the same that we always get his pub mix and his black silk. That was that had a two dollar rebate, so it was only 12 something, and it is 40 ounces. So, if you have a Sam's, that's a good deal if you drink that. 
We've got some more of the churro twists. And then I got this big, huge thing. It's got 32, I think it's got, yeah, 32 Hawaiian rolls. That'll be for baking day. We'll make the chicken salad and then chicken sliced chicken sandwiches for those that want that. So that's how we got it, Sam's. And then we went to Walmart and we got, I've got muddy footprints on the floor. I need to mop these floors. And also it's supposed to rain like one to three inches tomorrow. So it's kind of pointless today. I might wait until after tomorrow. Um, we got dog food, canned dog food, or like wet dog food, wet cat food. I got some of these little mini cherry cokes for Jackson, some dog food, dry dog food, paper towels, cookie crisp and the berry colossal crunch there's my Clyde so I told you my menus and I'm doing hash brown casserole like three different times I haven't I usually make it at Christmas time that's kind of the only time I make it but it is so delicious and this has a I'm gonna do the cracker barrel hash brown casserole for Christmas dinner but for the other two times I'm gonna do this recipe on the back we love this it's so good the simply potatoes cheesy hash browns and I had to get four because I'm doubling the recipe, so everything had to be, you know, times four. Got some salad mix to have salads, some butter, and then some stick butter for baking and whatever. I have some in the refrigerator. I want to make sure I had enough. I've got some carrots, some bananas, a cucumber, some green onions, bell pepper, onions, tomatoes, pineapple. I still need to go back to Kroger. I, they didn't have any grapes. The grapes looked awful at Walmart. I also want to get some berries. Um, but I like to do that. I like to look at their produce. Um, I'll go another time though. Then I got a big 18 eggs. This massive four pound bag of frozen hash browns. I didn't need quite this much, but close. And I didn't realize because they didn't have a price. This was like almost $7. $7. Crazy. Also, we got two um, pizzas because I'm going to want something easy. I, with all this cooking, I know there's going to be nights when I'm just going to want something easy. So we grabbed this stuffed crust three meat and then just the rising crust pepperoni and they also they were four something although that rang up almost seven dollars so i was mad about that but i mean that's more than like a little caesar's pizza or it's about the same uh, i got some sliced chicken for the little sandwiches two chicken cutlets they didn't have my the grass-fed beef i've been getting so i had to get this one um i just needed one thing of it got some turkey bacon and then this is the pork roast Marion picked out its pepper encrusted seasoned pork loin filet it was 682 pretty big pretty big I got some sliced cheese because I want to do some breakfast sandwiches I didn't get any bread today but I have bread and bagels already in the refrigerator I did get rolls that's the only bread I got um, I got some cream cheese for something some pepper jack cheese two of these like eight ounce things of cheese and then two of these and I actually think I need to get more these are the one pound I think I need to get more but we'll figure that out <laughs> um, I got another thing of pinto beans those were so good in the crock pot I got a huge family size meatballs some chicken strips I got this for it's a two pack for um, it's called pot roast casserole but I just use ground beef put some veggies in it it's so good I've shared it before I got two things of stuffing for Christmas Eve got some pancake mix crusties is always our favorite I got some corn cornflakes for the topping on the hash brown casserole some potato chips to go with this dip to have one day and I needed a bunch of sour cream and these were actually cheaper than the bigger ones they were on sale for a dollar so I got five of those um, I got a thing of frozen waffles some sister Schubert Okay, I just like knocked that whole thing over. I've got some Sister Schubert rolls for whenever. Marion's favorite. Um, couple uh, cornbread again. Some so this is like oh well, I got spaghetti, but then I oh and then Marion's tuna pa pouches. But I think all this is for baking. I got brown sugar, two things of powdered sugar, some of these little gumdrops. I needed, I have tons of food coloring, but I didn't have any green. So I had to get that and some more red sugar. I wanted green, but they didn't have that as well. Got some chopped walnuts, Hershey's peanut butter cups, or not Hershey's, Reese's. Some pretzel rods, and then a peanut butter cookie mix. We're going to be doing a lot of baking, so those are just the things I needed. Everything else I've already got. And then over here, I got some parchment. I'm not sure if I have enough, so I just grabbed it just in case. Got a four pack of these chicken um, ch chunk chicken breasts. They're really good for chicken salad. Makes it a lot easier. Got two of the green chilies, some chili sauce, 
and grape jelly to uh, make my meatball sauce. I got three cans of corn for cream corn, spaghetti sauce. I always go back to my favorite, my tried and true. I got some barbecue sauce for barbecue chicken. Somebody is texting me. And then um, I needed a bunch of cream of chicken and it was actually way cheaper to buy the big ones. Um, so I got two, two of the big ones for two, you know, for double batches of hash brown casserole. And then I got one single, got a big old can of green beans for our party tomorrow. And then this one, the smaller one for Christmas Eve, this, I'm going to make a Christmas punch and it called for Hawaiian punch. So I didn't want to carry that big thing. This was the same price and it's what I need. So I just got those and then I can just add as much as I need to. I got some mayonnaise, grape jelly. This is also for baking these oats. I needed pepper and they were all out, but this one, or they had the like $6 one. This was like a dollar seventy something. So I just grabbed this one. So I just wasn't about paying $6 for pepper. And then I got paprika and chili powder because we're about out of those. I got these three drinks for Christmas morning. We like to have these. Marion loves the sangria. I like the cider that is no sugar added. And then the kids really... They like all, but they really like the white grape. And then I got half gallon of milk. And then my punch called for cranberry juice and pineapple juice. And oh my word, that was so expensive. So <laughs> sorry, my phone keeps beeping. I ended up just buying cranberry pineapple. We'll see. We'll see if it's any good. I do have some smaller things of pineapple I can add if I need to. But we'll see how all that turns out whenever I make it. All right, so these are some non-food items i got just some more dishwasher pack packs really exciting some deodorant some kitchen spray that i was out of i just went with this dove love your lasting length i needed some more shampoo and i just never know what to get i'm always switching this one was like seven something i didn't want to go to target and get my function of beauty but we'll see let's see if i like it i'm always changing that and um, we went to hobby lobby because i needed some more wrapping paper and it really just is the best deal around you get 100 square feet and it's five dollars because they're 50 percent off and it's really good quality it lasts forever so i just wanted to make sure i had enough so i grabbed this one i'd already grabbed a few the other day and um, then i also grabbed these they were dollar fifty these will be fun for our punch got this at walmart actually some tape crazy expensive they didn't have any of the cheaper tape and then I got one of these because I'm always there with my grocery list and this would be super handy to have so that was only a dollar then I got some of these pretzel bags because I'm going to make pretzel rods and then tissue paper I needed another thing of tissue paper so this was three dollars for 50 sheets at Walmart and then I got these at Hobby Lobby they were two fifty seven. they used to be used to could find them for a dollar ninety nine but I got green and red. Those will be for my pretzel rods. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy. But now this year is twice as special. Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter. Thank you. 
Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy But now this year is twice as special Cause I'm hoping for that we'll fall in love in this winterland Could we fall in love? In reply, echoing their joyous strings. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. This jubilee, why your joyous strains prolong? What the gladsome tidings be, which inspire your happy song? Gloria in excelsis day. my pantry seems a little extra and it really is and I'm so grateful for it like all the stuff because I have such a big pantry I'm able to actually keep and store all the stuff it makes me so so thankful every time I'm able to stock it up and these like Christmas all the stuff is for Christmas I you know used to not have anywhere to put this I would have to put it like on my washer and dryer and just wait until the holiday but now I can just store it over here it's just so nice <laughs> it's just so nice I'll never not appreciate this massive pantry I know from my size house it is huge but I am so so grateful so grateful for all of it this is what happens when I don't clean up the cat room in a day I'm, I do it every day but I haven't done it today and yesterday I was gone till late, so I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up, change the litter box, sweep, and all that so that I can throw some laundry in because I have a mountain of laundry. Well, I'm all for Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true Love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you exactly five o'clock so I'm gonna get a little bit more cleaning done I need to think about dinner I actually have still got leftovers from we had sloppy Joe I still have my pintos and cornbread I might just have that and or we'll just eat up the leftovers I also have those pizzas and some chicken 
we'll figure out I'm not going to be making anything fancy tonight because there's other things going on. But I am going to carry this video over to tomorrow. So in the morning, we, we have a Christmas party at 1. So um, I have to make my hash brown casserole before. I think it's going to take like an hour. And so we're going to be probably having to, we either have to go to the early service at church or we'll have to watch it at home. Our church is live on TV too. Of course, that's for situations like this. We do love going into church and that's always our goal is to be in the church. But days when things are crazy and time is not allowing. <laughs> we, we had to do the party at one tomorrow because some people are coming from out of town and then people have to work really early and they don't want to have to be out late and driving late so um and it's also supposed to be so rainy and like really windy tomorrow like tropical storm force winds like at the coast where we are i think it's at 30 40 50 mile an hour wind gusts like overnight tomorrow night so yeah everybody wants to kind of get home before dark and all that so we're gonna have to work around that that'll be in this video and in a minute after i get everything cleaned up i'll show you we always do if you've watched like i'm gonna come in here it's loud in here because marion's downstairs sanding and then it's loud in here because the washer sorry it's just everything going on when you have a small house you can hear everything but um and of course jackson's talking with his friend so uh, what was oh yeah i'm going to show you if you've watched the videos before we always have a christmas party with our friends and we do like a fun uh, gift exchange and so this year i think our limit was 15 in the past this year we just did a 10 dollars limit so I bought a few things. It's only going to be, I only had to buy three gifts because Mary and me and Jackson, Madison and Jordan are coming and they'll be bringing their own gifts. But um, I just really struggled with what to get. <laughs> but I'll show you the gifts I got. I also have to wrap them and get that ready for tomorrow. So I'm going to do some cleaning then I'll show you that. I got this at Ross yesterday for $11.99. I'm gonna put Paisley toys in here. They're just overflowing this little basket and whenever she's not here, we can just take this downstairs and then bring it back up when she comes back.
Okay, house is clean. That first load of laundry is actually almost done. It's been 45 minutes since I started, but it feels so good. <laughs> Definitely needed to get that done so I can sit down and do some editing, but I wanted to show you the, the gifts that we got. This is 65 pieces of Reese's. This is really heavy. It's 36 ounces, and I got it at Sam's. What is that? Two pounds, four ounces. I got it at Sam's, and it was $10. So at Walmart, comparable for a comparable bag, it was like, there was one that was 13 something, but it was smaller than this. So it was a really good deal, I would say. So that's a fun gift to get. Also, I got this. So it's a $10 limit. This was $6.99 at TJ Maxx, and it's really awesome. It's this huge, huge squishy ball. I thought it would be fun, um, since Marion and I and Jackson are going, to bring like two gifts maybe that guys would like, and then one that a female would like so just to make it even but that's a giant stress ball and then we just bought this I needed something that was three dollars to go with it I've actually always wanted to try these never have but that'll be one gift and then this gift this was normally like 750 but they were on sale for five at Walmart and it does have a little well I guess it's not really a chip it's painted over it but it's a mug that you can reuse but it's filled with a candle and this is the vanilla scent it smells so good, so good. It's just the mainstays, but that vanilla scent is really got, really nice. I would probably only use it for the candle if I got it, but I liked that. And then we uh, got this at TJ Maxx for $5. It's just peanut brittle. It looked real, really good with real butter and vanilla. So that'll be another gift. So I would actually like to take any of those gifts home if I was to win one of them. All right, dinner is finished. Got a lo load of dishes in there. I'm gonna go ahead and unload my floor is super squeaky um, I'm gonna unload these and reload and then switch the laundry over and then we'll wrap some presents to get a video my video edited for the last 
hour. The dryer just quit though. I need to do the laundry. I mean, I get the laundry out, but I'm gonna show you what Marion has been working on for two days. So um, we have a crawler now. Paisley is crawling all over the place. And so we have this doorway is like bigger than your average doorway. So we have a baby gate that goes there. But when we had Jackson, we bought this like huge gate and it had a door that would open and we like screwed it into the wall. But we don't have that anymore and we want something that we could take down when she's not here instead of leaving it up all the time like we did with Jackson because you know he lived here so Marion did you just like come up with this on your own or did you find plans so I looked for plans I couldn't find any couldn't find any so it looks like a baby get I mean a uh, baby crib but he's gonna like put this wood here so that those will be obviously permanent until we take them down but we can slide the gate up and down like for when she's gone we can take it down but when she's here we can have it up just to keep her safe so she doesn't go down the stairs or anything whoops and um i think it's gonna work nice and he's gonna paint it white he sanded it and he actually cut those from two by fours <laughs> he cut those little strips from two by fours and then sanded them they're super smooth and he's gonna paint them it's gonna look really nice i'm gonna get this load of laundry out so i can Alright, it's Sunday morning. I just got the hash brown casserole ready to go in the oven. This is a double batch. It's huge. It says it's a two quart and I doubled it so it's four quarts. So I had to use my big pan, but it's going to be so good. The recipe I just followed exactly on the back of the Simply Potatoes. This, in my opinion, is the best hash brown casserole because I love the cornflake butter topping. So screenshot that if you'd like. Anyway, this has to cook for 45 minutes. So I'm gonna put this in, church is on the TV, and then I'm gonna have to get in the shower pretty soon. And I also got these beans ready. We'll heat these up when we get there, but I'm also bringing those. They went outside in the pouring down rain and now they're wild. <laughs> Bell Bell, are you wild? 
I mean, she's so wild for some reason when she goes out in the rain. She gets so playful, don't you? Don't you? So I ended up with my gift of <laughs> the vanilla candle. I actually chose it, stole it from someone, and decided to keep it. And then also the peanut brittle. So I lit that. It's a vanilla scent. It smells really good. I want to show you this crazy. Or let you hear the rain. That's crazy. I think it sounds like a good day to stay home, wrap presents, watch a Christmas movie. Perfect weather for that. Gordon and Madison uh, might be coming over in a little while. They said they want to come play games maybe. I don't know what the plan is, but it's only 510, so we have lots of leftovers. I don't have to make dinner. We brought home a lot of stuff, so <laughs> lots of leftovers and, and other things we added to it. So um, that was wonderful. It's always wonderful getting together with that group of friends are so sweet. We've known them for 12 years. We've been doing this. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, this Vlogmas video, when you're watching this, the week that this comes out is the week before Christmas. And I think I'm going to have four videos. If everything goes as planned, my goal is four videos because last week I only had two. So, um, and then the last video I believe will go up Christmas Eve and then after Christmas I'll be posting like a Christmas Eve Christmas Day special I'll probably just put them all in together into one I love to look back at those videos every year it's so fun to see how everybody has grown and everything that's changed you know in the last year or the last years so anyway I love you all and I appreciate you for, for watching coming back hope you all have a wonderful week before Christmas hope you're getting everything done all your shopping all your wrapping take some time to reflect on the real reason for the season, the birth of our Savior. Hopefully de-stress a little bit because, you know, us moms, we got to hold it all together. We got lots to do. We got long lists, never-ending lists of, of things to do, but um, hopefully, hopefully you can take some time and enjoy it as well. So I hope that my videos bring you like a little reprieve from, you know, everything going on in your life when you can kind of connect take some time, relate to some of my life. <laughs> um, but I love you all very much and I'm praying for you and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.